so um, this guy, this, this, she this pathetic up? Howard, who who claims that I I was lying by omission because I didn't mention your name when I initially discussed it. He wants to speak to me about transparency when he won't even share his voice and his face and stand uh, stand on business. You you guys you guys don't like me. That's your problem. <laughs> Penny resilient it has the, the, the willingness to say what other people aren't willing to say. And if people don't like that, that's your problem. He's giddy, y'all. He's smiling. He is ready to go. All Hi. Right. So I want to come on mainly because people thought I was fake in the, the, the clips chat. Uh, the, uh, the chat. That's, I, checked that was me. <laughs> I checked you out. It was the real you. I saw the I went to the channel and saw the post. Oh, and you did you see the videos? Uh, one of the videos is actually me protesting Kamala Harris. Whoa, you were protesting Kamala Harris? Yes, because um, people think that Trump bad, Democrats good. It's a bunch of BS. They're oh, both. Shit. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I don't want to get you demonetized. Oh, sorry. Um, they're both. Let him cook. Um, people need to look into these politicians. Their 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 policies and their actions and. Barack Obama could have codified Roe v. Wade. That was a, an issue in 2022 because um, people there was a huge issue about that. And people crying, oh, Roe v. Wade. I'm like, yes, it's a huge issue. But Obama could have codified it in 2007. These are the facts. And people just ignore it. And then I say in, in the rally and then people um, security, um, plain close security were, were circling me in the crowd. And I was like, OK, um, another security issue with me. And they're like, I'll just leave peacefully. You don't have to escort me out. Like the bunch of protesters who protested um, billions sent to Ukraine. So I did protest her. She, um, she's a empty suit. They're, they're both, both candidates, Trump, Kamala Harris. They're both bad. You just have to choose the lesser of two evils. Um, if you want to participate in the, in the political process. Um, people, Karen, cheerleading Kamala Harris, she probably can't even, doesn't even know that Obama could have codified Roe v. Wade in 2007. She probably doesn't even know that, but she probably just sees the service level rhetoric about Trump, and that's that's her right, but, so yeah, that's my, my spiel on politics. <laughs> okay, now you said you were protesting against Kamala Harris, is, is that video oh, yeah. on your channel? I don't know if it's on my channel, I could, but again, if I upload stuff, your, your, your viewers, they, they, um, they they take it the wrong way. I don't know um, if but we'll, we'll we'll see. I'll, I'll have to see the. I don't know if it's up there still. It might it might be because I, I have a video at Indian Wells watching Venus and Serena, and then I think the rally might be up there. I don't know. I don't really. Put okay. A lot of videos on that channel. So. All right. Um. um so, um, do you want to address the whole the situation? This uh, right here where people were pretty upset with you. Oh, yes, I remember this. OK, um, sure. So um, this guy, this, this, she this pathetic up? coward who who claims that I I was lying by omission because I didn't mention your name when I initially discussed it, he wants to speak to me about transparency when he won't even share his voice and his face and stand uh, stand on business and this guy wants to le give a lecture on on transparency on lying by omission he uh, he won't even show his face and his voice that's how much of a coward he is so let me explain the 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 casual conversation that i had with with christy so i'm walking around the con like i do because sometimes um you could tell when people are looking to sell stuff and sometimes there's a good deal so i like to walk around the con all that kind of stuff, but people could attest to that. And I see, I see this lady, um, who, Karen's friend. Like, I thought she was just like a um, someone who hangs out with Karen because she's she's the she's a Power Ranger. So I thought she was just another person just hanging around with her. And then we, uh, she 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 approached me. She talks to me very nicely, like uh, about Zach Taylor McGinnis and um, why I'm asking about um, Zach Taylor McGinnis and Steve Cardenas. And we have a, 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 a civil conversation about that. And then she, she asked me, oh, um, are you a fan? Uh, this is the first time she asked me this. And I'm like, yes, I, I'm, I am a fan. I go on, on, on social media websites. I talk about Power Rangers. I defend, defend them. On, and I go on channels like Kenny Resilient. 
And um, that's when I name dropped, quote unquote, name dropped you. And then um, it was pr- a fairly civil, casual conversation. And then all of a sudden she brings a, 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 a security officer named Tate and the issue of, yes, the uh, accusation of recording, that was one of the issues, but that wasn't the main issue. The main issue was me uh, talking to Steve Cardenas about Zach Taylor McGinnis. And the security guard told me that if I continue asking um, certain celebrities, but it was Steve, because Steve was the only person I asked about Zach Taylor McGinnis and where Chrissy was present. Mm-hmm. If I continue asking celebrities about Zach Taylor McGinnis, I might, they might have to ban me because these celebrities need to be kept happy. And um, if they're not happy, then the con loses business. So that the, the main issue from the beginning with Christy was Zach Taylor McGinnis. The recording issue was not really the, the, the focal point until Karen Ashley. So, and then the, the issue with, with, and then Christy brought up again with, with Greek culture 101 was literally pr- right next to me when she talked about um, Zach Taylor McGinnis and uh, questioned me whether I'm, I'm a fan or not. And then uh, that conversation happened and then um, everything was quote unquote fine until um, Paul Freeman, he only accepted cash. So I had to go to an ATM across the street. And then um, someone in a wheelchair comes up to me, says, uh, Karen wants to see me. And I didn't know who this person was, but um, I, I was told that this person was Karen's husband. I don't know if that's uh, true or not, but that's what, what I was told. And then um, I, I, I go to Karen's booth and then Karen comes up to me, says, I know what you did. Um, I have three witnesses and I'm like, what, what are you talking about? And then she's like, you know what you did. Ha- like, have a nice life. I- and then people are going to accuse me. You didn't say the whole story. I'm like, why do I need to tell? Do I need to tell people when I arrived? I only went there for one day because I went to a previous con in Texas. Do I have to, dis- if I don't disclose every single detail, do I, have- is that lying by omission? I don't think so. I think I just, dis- whether I disclosed my quote unquote casual conversation which was about Zachary Taylor McGinnis and Steve Cardenas. If I didn't disclose that, what difference does that make? Well, um, and 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 I and I understand what Henry, what you're saying is that um, knowing them, knowing what I know now, do I expect a rea- that reaction from them if I were to bring up Zachary Taylor McGinnis to Steve Cardenas? Absolutely. And if I and if if I were to do that, which I feel every right to do so, if I were to do that again. And they were to treat me the same way. People would say that's 100 percent deserved, which is what you told me. Then, yes, it's deserved in terms of the cause and effect of, of the reaction you should expect from Karen's like Karen. Uh, I, that sounded really weird. But Karen's like Karen. You should expect that reaction. Now, is that reaction OK? Even whether I didn't disclose that reaction, uh, your name or not. No, I, whether I disclose I could I. I told Chrissy that I go on your channel to dispute what you say. And that's absolute fact. There's numerous videos where I dispute what you say. And then this, 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 this coward, this pathetic coward is like, you didn't disclose that you, you support the Rangers. Why do I have to do that? No, 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 um, no, 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 no. You didn't disclose that you name dropped me. That's what you didn't disclose. And once you so name, what? Once so what? <laughs> so what? Once you name so drop, what? you you didn't disclose that you name dropped someone who's number one on the ban list. I just I name dropped you because uh, I, I I said I go on your channel to dispute what you say. Yeah, and and if people want to take re- uh, if so that doesn't change how I feel about the reaction. I mean, that doesn't change anything in my opinion. Like if you, if, if you want to tell your view, if your viewers think that because I, I told Christy that I go on channels down, like Henry God. resilient to dispute what he says and that, that somehow I deserve the treatment that I received, then I, I cannot talk to them. I cannot talk to those viewers that feel that way. That's like going, that's like right. being like a, a, a Harris <clears throat> supporter and saying that, um, that you go to a, a rally or something you say that you you go on you go to trump rallies to to protest what he says and then people get all hissy fit and like uh uh you deserve some sort of harassment because you go to a trump rally to protest him uh, you i find that yeah sure well <laughs> as i told you on the phone the treatment that you got was fucking deserved because you name dropped the top banned person on the list 
who has oh. gotten recordings of them saying stuff that they probably didn't want to have recorded. So as I told you on the phone privately, I was like, yeah, you deserve that treatment. And it wasn't, it wasn't even necessarily uh, harassment. It was scrutiny. They were scrutinizing you. They were questioning you like, hey, are you recording people? Because they have no idea to this day how they got Karen Ashley goofy ass to say I hear you, Dom. He ain't nobody. Uh, that I ain't nobody and she hears I'm awful. So when you come up there and you probably the only one there to mention Henry Resilient's name outside of security saying that I'm banned, they're going to look at you like, hey, you're the guy supplying them with the recordings. They have or, no proof. Sure, they have no proof, but they have suspicion. You go on the channel. They know you have a personal relationship with me. So that's why they're going to give you the extra, hey, are you recording people? And what they did was they bluffed you. They spoofed you and saying, hey, you must be the guy recording people. And by your reaction, they know that you probably wasn't. But, you know, all is all said and done. But now when you go to PMC, I could potentially be banned. I probably am already. Are you going to tell people that you go on Henry Resilience channel? <clears throat> Am I, am I going to tell people if I if I go on your channel? Yes, I, I have in the past. Uh, I ha I have done this um, numerous times. Um, so even if I'm, even if I'm banned, are you still going to mention me at uh, at PMC? Uh, there's no guarantee whether I will. If the conversation comes up, then um, I, I I feel like I sh I should be able to. And if people and if people want to, if you feel that I deserve or that that behavior is okay. Then we're going to be arguing all night, and there's going to be no resolution. If you, if you feel that how Karen shouting at me on the on the con floor, how Chrissy uh, interrogating me numerous times, how that behavior is okay just because I mentioned your name and because you're banned, then we're going to be arguing. People, if if people want to, if if people don't want to believe me about David Yost anymore just because of that, that's their problem. So because I feel like I feel like I should be able to say who I want, who I I, I disagree with. In public, like I, 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 I told her, I, I go on your channel to dispute what you say about Austin St. John. This is a fact. I've disputed numerous, gone on your channel numerous times to disagree with you. And if people want to be, uh, be all panicky about that and say that, and and Karen wants to make an assumption that I'm recording her because of that, that's her problem, okay. not mine. What about the, and, what about Angel Pess who says, Brent, you didn't give the whole story, an important part of the story. That's lying by omission. The guy is protecting his identity. You lost credibility. And he said, if you listen to the interview, he was protecting his identity so he doesn't get harassed by you and you file like a complaint against him or something. Oh, really? And, but people could do that with me, but I, I, I put my face and my voice and I stand on business. And if Angel Pest wants to, I lost credit because I didn't mention, I feel like that that's not, it's, it's not relevant. Because whether I, I, I mention your name or not, I feel like I should be able to say that I go on channels like Henry Resilience to oppose what he says. But, and if people want to take issue with that, 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 that has no bearing in terms of how I the treatment that I received. Like I shouldn't be uh, people shouldn't. I feel like security guards shouldn't be telling me that you should be banned. Uh, we might ban you because of you questioning Steve, uh, certain celebrities about their association with Zach Taylor McGinnis. That. That type of scrut, quote unquote, scrutiny shouldn't be more okay because I didn't mention about Henry Resilient. Your your channel is not um, some sort of. It's not. It's just another. You're using your voice to express yourself, and but I I told them that I, I I go on those channels to oppose your voice. What other and channel that be is like mine, Brett? What's the what's the if oh, I've, for, uh, on, on, on you on social media channels? I go on um, in politics. Um, I oppose numerous Democrats and Republicans who claim that one is better than the other just because um, uh, Joe is demented or I hear like uh, uh, Kamala, uh, she she's for women's rights or she 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 will champion for. Um, the female's right to choose when her record does not, when her, when the person that she supports, Barack Obama, refused to codify Roe v. Wade, even though he made that promise on the first day that he would enter office. Okay. And now, he never hold. Yeah. To, to give you pushback, when you say channels like mine, 
you're at a ranger convention. They don't, they're not looking, so, they're not looking for you so to go on other, other, other channels just to say channels. They're like, Hey, what other ranger channels are you going on? That's like mine. So when you say Henry resilient, it's going to strike a nerve because my channel and I hate the two by horn is one of a kind. There are no other channels like mine in the ranger. Community. And, if, if it, and if it strikes a nerve with Karen or with Christy, that's their problem. And, and, and who, who, and if they, they don't like me go on their channels and like if, if if they don't like that, that's their problem. And for but the, the 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 idea that 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 because I didn't disclose that that they that they that it struck a nerve with them, I somehow deserve that scrutiny that that Karen to sh- make those accusations on the con floor that I somehow that's okay. Okay. Um, uh, no. Fallen royalty says, use your brain, Brent. Keep Henry's name out of your mouth when you're around people who are looking for any reason to ban people. What do you think about that? Now I agree with so Brent. what? So what? Here's the thing, Brent. So what? If, if I mention if I mention <laughs> if I mention Henry Rosillon's name, I've mentioned in nostalgia God San Antonio. I mentioned your name so many times. I've had so many deep conversations with people who disagreed with me in San Antonio. Legacy of Nerd can attest to this. He knows the person. I mentioned your name probably multiple times to multiple people, and they disagreed with me, my viewpoints. They're intense JDF fans. They disagreed with my viewpoints. I mentioned your channel. I mentioned my what I said, and we had very deep conversations to the point where I missed out on people I wanted to see because I felt what they were talking about was so... I, I, I kind of agreed with them with what, what they were saying. And so this idea that um, I deserve uh, scrutiny or um, Karen, like being a Karen on the con floor because uh, I mentioned your channel. If people are going to say that I deserve that treatment just because I didn't disclose Henry Resilient, I'm sorry. Um, we're going to disagree and there's, there's going to be no agreement. Okay. I'm sorry. Now, here, here, here's an analogy. I should be able to walk through the projects uh, with $100 in my pocket and not worry about being harassed. Is that something I can say that, hey, I should be able to walk through the projects with money hanging out my pocket and not worried about being harassed or robbed? I should. Right. But the reality is I probably can't. I'm probably going to get robbed if I'm in a low income neighborhood walking around with money hanging out my pockets. They're going to look at me like I'm a a steak dinner. So you have that with the cons. You should be able to go to cons and you should be able to say, yeah, I go in here with resilience channel and, and nothing come of it. But the harsh reality that we live in is if you go to a con that I'm banned at, that they know my content, they all watch me, you're going to get treated differently just for mentioning my name. That's the reason. That's, that, that's called taking a stand, Henry. That's called taking a stand yeah. and what you believe in. And, and people want to, but, but Angel Pest brought up the issue of credibility. Um, when, if, if, you, if you go to the projects and you make a choice to, um, have an expensive, I don't know, wallet or to have a, a fanny pack with money. I don't know. I'm, I'm just doing the examples. Um, you're, if you choose to take that risk, you, you're, you, nobody's going to question your credibility in terms of whether you're telling the truth or not. So that analogy is not quite, uh, does yeah. not quite apply. I get what you're saying, Henry. Um, if I were to do that again, if I were to go to Ranger Top Atlanta again, w- do I expect that treatment? Absolutely. Okay. Well, I, if if I were to, now yes. you do. Well, now I, yeah, now I, I, do. I would absolutely expect it. I wouldn't be shocked by it. Do I think it's wrong? Absolutely. Do I, des- do I think I deserve it in terms of a moral issue? No. Do I, is, and do I deserve it in terms of cause and effect in terms of knowing what, how much of a Karen, Karen is? Absolutely. Okay. So when Dust makes that point, um, yeah, I, 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 I would expect, that the type of treatment again if I were to go to Range Stop Atlanta. Okay, now here's here's the last um damn the last point I'm gonna make about people uh questioning your credibility. And then I'm gonna get to mm-hmm. your super chat, Mr. Monster. Um if you left out the details of you name dropping my name, people are gonna say, well, with the David Yo story, what are you omitting there as well? You see how it works? Ah, okay. That's why people are saying, hey, you lost credibility with David Yost. Now, you could just think about that. You don't have to respond to that. Let me do the super chat. Then I'm going to bring up Matt. You just think about that. All right. Uh, oh, you're not going to let me respond to that? Oh, you want to respond, Brent? Go ahead, Brent. Sure, 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 sure. Go ahead. Um, if, if, if I lose credibility, um, 
I, I, because I didn't feel it was important, and I still don't feel it's important. That's why it's not because, um, Henry Resilient, your channel is one of a like I, I, people think that I hate, I hate your channel. No, your channel is despite our disagreements. I think it's a great channel, uh, for for entertainment. It's absolutely it's it's one of a kind, and. I, I feel like it, you should. I should be able to name drop it, whatever. And I, I, I didn't think it was an issue because it was never issue before. It was never issue um, uh, when I mentioned with Walter Jones. Um, I could name probably five, six conventions where I name drop your name, and it was never an issue. So I, why would I think it's an issue all of a sudden, uh, wh whether you're banned or not? Uh, especially when I say that I go on your channel to oppose what you say. Um, I don't so think my credibility shouldn't be, but people are looking for reasons to not believe, um, my, my issue with David Yost at the end of the day, um, they're looking for reasons at the end of the day, because, um, and that's their right. Okay. And if they, if they don't want to believe me, if they, if they, if they think I'm lying, that I just made up this, this, this story about David Yost and that I was somehow so entitled, like I was super demanding, like drew danger was, was inferring that I deserve that treatment because I was so entitled, um, people have a, a right to say no. Like I just ask them for quotes. Um, if they don't want to do quotes, just say no. And people have said that to me numerous times and we keep it moving. So this, this idea that I, I deserve security to be called on me is ridiculous. And you notice how David Yost, um, he didn't deny it. He, he has not responded to me yet. I've contacted his agents numerous times. They don't respond to me. And he and he could have said right there, I never called security on him. But notice how he, he said, you don't know the whole story. Well, David, I'm waiting for the whole story. Ooh, OK, let's and, end on uh, that. That's a good part to okay. end on. All right, great, great. All right, so I have to get going. But the thank you for letting me respond. If people want to think. People um, want to talk to you, Britt. Oh, they do. Um, who, who who wants to talk to me? I have to get going. Maybe one person. OK, uh, we'll let Matt Fisher. He wants to talk to you. Matt, I'm about to bring oh, you Oh, Matt Fisher. Um, okay. Mr. Monster, hold on. Mr. Monster, what is your opinion on Agent Agenda 47? I'm not familiar with Agenda 47. Project 2025, I think, is just some uh, propaganda for sure. Um, but um, I'm not too familiar with these. I don't judge us American to have our own opinions in these things. All right, let me bring up, let me bring up Matt, because Brent got to okay. go. Uh, Matt, you ready? Okay. All right, Matt, go ahead. You're on, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just sitting here with my... Uh... Blue Ranger PowerPoint. Um, so, uh, quick question for you: uh, Has anybody here ever seen uh, Billy Madison? Yes, I've seen it. Okay. Oh, I I, I met um, Bradley Whitford. Yeah, yeah, I met I met him. That's a very good movie. Yeah. Uh, Brent, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having to listen to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Brent, you cannot walk into enemy territory and be like, hey, uh, I'm friends with your enemy. And then I never said that. I never said I was friends with him. You, that's not true. No, no. I said I, I go on channels like Henry Resilient to oppose what he has to say. I never said I was friends with him. The mere mention of Henry's name in some of these circles is just an automatic like ban you, you, you Boo too you bad to, if you want to bring up a political reference okay you can't walk into a trump rally and be like i'm here to protest trump you may not be a kamala fan but you can't walk into a trump rally and say i'm here to protest trump because as far as these people know you're a kamala fan they don't know any better they're gonna kick your ass you and can't you can't, Kamala yes, and, and, I'm, and, and, and I have a video. You're here to protest Kamala because as far as they know, you're a Trump supporter and they're going to kick your ass. All right. And you can't walk into a Ranger convention and be like, hey, I go on Henry Resilience channel because all they hear is Henry Resilience channel and then they're going to throw you out. Yes, this is true. But go ahead, Britton. You have your, your response, Tom. So, Matt, um, of course, uh, yes. Um, I, I had a discussion with Dust in the comments. Um, knowing what I know about Chrissy and Karen, that is expected, but is that okay? If, you, if you're being ridiculous about it, yes. If It might be ridiculous if, if I say that um, I go on channels like Kenny Resilient to oppose what he has to say. Is that being ridiculous to you? Whether I like Karen or Austin or Walter or anyone, these people go to cons to make money. 
these people have some these people have some right to sit there and expect to deal with bullshit. And if you name drop somebody who I love you, Henry, but in their eyes, if if you na if you name drop someone who's bringing bullshit about them up on a weekly basis, <laughs> they're going to expect to kick you. In. They, they don't want to deal with it. So, of course, they're going to kick you out. Of course, they're going to say, get that video back. Or he name dropped him. Now I'm worried. Go do something about this kid. Is this behavior? Is this behavior OK? Yes, it is. I told, I told you it was. Brett. <laughs> All right. They, anything else? You, anything? You expect someone not to be upset when you name drop somebody who's going to make them upset. Okay. I mean, we can't. We can't really. Uh, if that's what how you feel, then that's that's fine. I mean, um, I mentioned Henry Zilli in terms of opposing him, but if if you feel that the mere mention of him um, so, is going to cause issues, then I mean, it it, it will cause issues because I'm banned. But this okay, was, this well, was, this we, was, we, we, I can't argue. We're going to argue in circles. And if people want to take issue. This was, yeah. a, this was so. a good learning experience for you, Brent. But uh, as Brent has said, and everyone can see, he doesn't care. He's going to continue to name drop me, which we appreciate over here at the Human Resilient channel. And, um, you know, you get what you get. And we, we'll be here for it every time. Brent. Sure, sure. So the next time Karen like makes uh, false accusations, you guys think that's OK? No, that's fine. She's going to um, <laughs> she's caught spoofing you. She was making a false accusation to see how you responded. If you were to, if you were to respond it in a certain in a different way, they probably would have kicked you out. But because you said no, they have no proof. They let you slide. OK, if you guys if, if that behavior is OK, that's that we can't argue. OK, I have one question for you. I am I am going to power Morphicon in August. Will I will I Henry's name come out of my mouth during that at any point in that room? No. <laughs> I don't want to get kicked out. I want to go enjoy myself. Are you going to power Morphicon? And if you are, are you planning on name dropping Henry? Are you going to I don't go to any I don't go to any place plan name dropping anybody, but if it comes up in conversation like it has with Scott Zillner. I, I will do like what you guys are afraid like and, and if if you guys are don't want to do that, that's your right but I have name drops I, Henry resilient to afraid. Scott Zillner yeah. before and there's I'm been no afraid. issues and if you want, but I'm also smart about when I talk okay so okay but if you guys uh, sure and you that's I get what you're saying like you you're being diplomatic and I, in certain situations I get it but if you guys feel that if I the mere mention of Henry resilient especially in terms of opposing him, if you feel that I deserve to be kicked out just because of that, then we can't, there's nothing more we could discuss. You guys feel that you, you support that soft behavior. The mere oh, mention of Henry shit. Resilient, you guys, you guys you, you're, you're soft. Um, I mentioned Henry Let's Resilient. Go, okay. okay. Let's go, Brent. Henry Resilient. Okay. I, I oppose Henry I'm Resilient. Soft. Oh, oh, you, 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 you guys, you guys don't like me. That's your problem. <laughs> If Henry Resilient it has the, the, the willingness to say what other people aren't willing to say. And if people don't like that, that's your problem. Oh, oh I don't post Henry Resilient. Oh, you should be mad. Oh, um, Chrissy was right to be mad at you. Oh, that's you. Oh, shit, Chris. You guys are soft. Holy shit. And I have to, I spend more time than I should on this channel because you guys are, you guys are uh, pretty soft. That, I meant, right okay, here. so if I mentioned another right guy, uh, uh, Power Morphic. Right that Henry Resilient, um, he, he does great work. And then I get security guards, and you guys are like, that's okay. You guys are, come on now. Ooh. Henry, you guys, Henry <laughs> is, his channel is great Henry, despite sorry, our disagreements. If right. we're soft, why the fuck you here? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> why, why the hell are you here? Why do you come right. up here every week and start a bunch of bullshit and then just expect people not to be mad at you? Like, oh, they're right. They have a right to be mad. I mean, that's not an issue. Um, people uh, have right to have their opinions, but this idea that um, Chris Karen has a right to to have say false accusation, have security called on me because of Henry Rizzilli because I mentioned Henry's name. Oh my God, you guys are. <laughs> I will continue mentioning his name, and if and if Scott Zillner wants to kick me out because I, I'm just because I mentioned Henry Resilient, I will.
<laughs> and you guys, and you guys, if you guys take an issue with it, it's too bad. All right, all right, all Be right. Re- stay resilient. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Did Brent just mic drop on everybody? God damn, we need a bomb! Oh my god! Well, holy shit! That happened. Um, I guarantee you, I'm gonna be there, and I'm not. I'm not gonna say a word to Brent while I'm there because I am gonna see Brent. But I'm going to be there when he fucking drops your name and they're going to cart his ass out of there. Ooh, all right. I promise you. And Brent, I know you're still listening because you have a small penis. So um, as long as you're still wondering what people think about you, you're a joke. All right. Sorry. All Y'all right. have a good night. Thank you, Henry, man. Love the show. Hey, appreciate you, man. God damn. I was not expecting this tonight. All right, we gonna let Drew come up. I know my grandma watching and shit. <laughs> Holy shit! What was that? Shout out to Dominic. He said, "If arguing about Ranger stuff is cool, consider Brent Miles Davis." God damn! <laughs> I got zero people watching on the main channel. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I got an error occurred. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh man! I was not, guys. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Clip channel be vibing. Oh man, guys! Brent is not playing out here. <laughs> He is not playing. He said he's standing on business. And if you don't mention my name at conventions, you guys are soft. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) Brent won the night with that mic drop. I I agree. I agree. (laughs) I agree. (laughs) All right. But we're going to bring up Jesus. I was not expecting Brent to go off. Like, here's the thing, right? Brent, Brent is of the opinion that he should be able to walk, he should drive his Mercedes Benz through the hood and not have to worry about getting jacked. And he should be able to walk through the hood because jacking is illegal. But the reality is, he <laughs> if he drives his Benz through the hood, you're going to get jacked. Now, Brent is of the opinion, he's like, I can say him resilient, him resilient, him resilient at cons, and it should be no different, Okay. <laughs> Oh man, uh, yeah, it was a little personal, Matt. You got personal. You got personal. Now, when you get personal, that means you lost the argument. That's just the rules. Never get personal. <laughs> but he said, uh, Henry and Cole, I owe you guys an apology for that P comment. That was out of line. Brain got me worked up. Sincerely, I'm sorry about that. It's all right, man. Sorry. Right. You cool by me, Matt. I knew, I knew he got you. I know he got you. He got you. All right. 